Thanks for joining me today as I take you through this color process. So here are a few before pictures. Um, she wanted to be an all over blonde, all over lighter and brighter. And so you can just see the multiple tones going on. And here are some of the products that I use to help me get the job done quicker. So I was just showing a couple of the clips I use, my weaving comb, it, that one's by Cricut. And then this is a product club uh, foil dispenser that helps out a lot. Um, I do use pH bonder to add to my bleach mix and then I use magic lightener with 20 volume on my first mixes and then I switch to 40 on the last. So on this first foil I'm showing you guys how I use my weaving board and I use it here on the bang and forehead area because um, just this first foil, it just gets me cleaner sectioning and application. So after I'm done um, setting the foil on, I like to fold it up one more, especially here in the front and around the face, just so that it's more comfortable for your client. Um, I mean, they don't want to be blinded with foil throughout their whole service and you can still communicate to them while you're processing them and working on their hair. So right here, I'm moving to the front side area by the face and I just wanted to show you what is being mirrored on the other side and how I do this part of the process. Um, so I took baby fine lights and I had them going on an angle vertically and they are fine sections but then also a fine highlight as well. I also wanted to make a note here that um, with putting on bleach in this area of the hair and all over actually I did not drag down the bleach soaking her ends I just feathered it onto the ends and then left it out of the foil so that it would not get damaged she didn't need to be lighter so I did a, probably about four foils um, on that last part um, in the front four foils going vertically and then I just started to kind of go on an angle working my way up towards the top of the head and so right now I'm just showing you how I was foiling the top part um, I did start taking um, chunkier sections on this top part because I did want some of her nat more of her natural pre-existing color to show through so that it wasn't all blonde blonde. I hate to say chunkier, um, it's such a strong word especially in the color industry and world, but I did thicker weave pattern just to leave out the more natural hair color so that she's not coming in in like two weeks or four weeks and needing already another touch-up so this gets lets her get away with it a little bit longer So on this back section, I am finishing up my last foil, but there was so much foiling footage I didn't want to bore you guys, so um, I'm just going to explain it to you. Um, I did a triangle section um, with the wide part on the top, like going in a triangle pointing down. I'm not sure if you can understand that, but then I did the foils off of that at an angle. on to my uh, hair painting uh, process and so I'm just picking up random sections where I just kind of eye it um, there's no real pattern to it I just kind of eye it and I just want to break up that um, her pre-existing blonde and 
So I am using a chip paintbrush for this part. I think it's a two inch size and that works perfect for me um, for this process. So I do this a lot with my clients. Um, I feel like it gives it my colors a signature look. Um, it breaks up the other color so it's going to tone better and it's just going to marry those baby lights and highlights into the all over color that she already has. I always, as I'm doing these YouTube videos, realize that I look so serious when I'm working. I'm really not that serious, but I guess when I get to working, I just get my serious face on. Okay, so I just keep forgetting to get when I'm doing my smudging and my toning. So in this video, I do not have that um, process. <laughs> But I am going to, I'm just showing you as I'm taking out the foils what we lifted to and what the pattern's kind of looking like without toner or root smudging. This is the root tap formula that I used. It was 8N color gels with 10 volume color gels. And I, um, just had root tapped her and I'm washing that out and I had when I am doing my root smudge I put on the pH bonder the number two and I let that sit while her root smudge is processing and then I rinse out and I did use a violet shampoo so that's what you're seeing here then here is the toner uh, formula that I did and I did use shades EQ um, developer the processing solution um, I just um, got a tip from another hair color person um, she's on Instagram as pretty little ombre and she actually says if you want to let your developers stay your blonde stay a little bit lighter that we should you could do 10 volume with shades EQ or even 13 volume and I don't know about 13 volume. I don't, I've never seen 13 volume. I'm sure there is some 13 volume out there, but I think I'm gonna try that and I will let you guys know how that goes. But she swears by it, so I'm excited to try that out. And I know this is a really long toning process clip, but I kind of like watching the toning process. I like to watch videos where I can see the toning working, so I left it in for you guys. Here is the finished product, you guys. Um, we were so happy with the way it turned out. It was bright, it was light. She had some roots there to help her with the grow out part. And please um, share with me your comments or tips that you guys might have for me to try out. Thanks, bye.